What's going on guys? My name is Corey Vanderplu at Corey Photo on Twitter and Instagram. Today I'm going to be critiquing some of my subscribers' photos. If you're wondering who am I to be critiquing photos, let me just give you a quick rundown. I've been a photographer for 15 years. I worked as an editor for 10 years. I've assisted world-renowned photographers in the Canada and in the US. I was a commercial retoucher in New York City. I've also assisted world-renowned retouchers. I worked in a print shop for two years. I worked on multiple books for Tashin, The Met, other photographers. My eyes have been training for about 20 years. Uh, it's all I do. It's my life. I live and breathe this stuff. And I think everyone can put their style on it, say why an image can be better. And that's the point of this, to, to learn, to grow. I'm going to be learning things too through this. So let's just jump right into it. All right, first we have Aditya. I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. My name is a tough one. So first thing, these are great photos. I mean, they really are. Uh, you have your crop nice and organized. Like this one is, is breathtaking. Yeah, there's not much you can do here. The skin retouching is amazing. The composition is great. I love the angelic feeling and the grain of this. And you have this beautiful vignette. I mean, this is a stunning portrait. Her gaze is fantastic. You could probably lose this little thing in here, but I mean, this is, this is great. I love, I love this. Um, one thing that you could do is maybe make this a little bit cleaner. This is a little bit distracting. It's just a little bit off. Um, you could do one little weird liquify thing. Um, again, but this really isn't that big of an issue. I mean, I'm splitting hairs here. I just take the mask and then you would just um, paint this back. So you can see it's just a little bit cleaner, a little bit more symmetrical. You see I missed a little mass mark here, but sorry, I'm just doing this quick. But again, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, that did help a lot. I love the symmetry, but other than that, it's it's beautiful. Like, what a great image. And another, another thing you could do is actually, you really do want the face to glow, right? So I'm gonna lift the lower mids a little bit. And then just with my, my B tool and a low opacity brush, I'm just gonna puff in a little bit of brightness along the bottom. I mean, such a simple, tiny little fix, but again, you want the face to glow and pop. And I think that helped a lot. But other than that, I mean, outstanding image. I'm sorry I couldn't give much more critique, but I do think that what I just did helped, helped a lot. Um, I don't mind that there isn't de too much detail in the whites. I, I just love the angelic vibe of, the, of all this. So well done. Well done, Aditya. Now this one. I feel like this one could probably use a bit of a crop. It could go in maybe a little tighter. So if I do this. Like, I think that's a lot nice. It's a little bit more intimate, a little bit more personal. Um, but I don't think it's that big of a, a, de a big deal. I just think compositionally, this is a nicer image. Um, another thing I would get rid of is that she just simply has like one of these gray hairs. And I know I might get fought on this one, but gray, it's not that it's getting rid of a gray hair. It's just that you're getting rid of one weird thing that stands out. It like sticks out. If there was more gray, cool, leave it. But the fact that there's only one or two of those things and they're just poking out, I think that you should just get rid of that. You could also simplify the flyaways up here a little bit better. You can actually just use, you can actually just use your liquify tool and really push them in. And see, that helps a lot. You get a little bit of uh, this weird texture coming in. Make a new layer, push B, holding down option. You're just sampling and then just puff it away. And that looks way nicer. But I think that makes a big difference in terms of the hair and the flyaways. You can do the same thing on this side, but it's, I mean, it's not that important. Flyaways, I don't think are, are that big of an issue. 
I do like simplifying images though. So even if you're doing that, um, just to give you better shape, better rounding off. Um, looking at it more, you might even want to get rid of that so it's just more about her and less about the hair. Cropping in comes in real nice. So I think that makes a big difference. Yeah, there's a bunch of tiny little flyaways here that you could do. It's not the, about the flyaways, it's about the white lines that just pop off. You don't really like that because that does distract your eye. Amateur or pro. So thank you, Aditya. All right, next we got Justin. Great learning you from you at the Ludlow House seminars. I attached a couple 35 millimeter images I shot after working with you. Would love some feedback as I delve deeper into the portrait world. All right, these look amazing. Justin was at one of my seminars at the Ludlow House, so I'm gonna take two images here and let's let's jump right through them. So what I was saying earlier with a previous video is about making the background clean. He's done a great job of making this background clean. He's done a great job of simplifying the image and, and working it down to its simplest core. And it does look like these are film, although you can never tell. Um, some small things you'd want to fix or just, not necessarily fix, but work on are just small little tiny dots that pop up anywhere. I mean, no one's going to give a shit about that kind of stuff, but if you have that attention to detail, it's going to make a, a big game change. Another thing is, the it just looks a little crooked. I mean, not a lot. Very simple fix. His eye level is just a little bit off to me, so I'm just going to show you how I deal with that. See, it looks like he's pretty much working with the, the crop like that. So what I do is bring this down. Actually, these look pretty good. It was just his eyes that were throwing me off. Um, so what I'm going to do is do this. Shift Apple and E. And then just give it the slightest rotation. Very similar. Uh, simple in me, rather. And then you can see the middle of the image is right here. So it, it is a little heavy on the right. But again, his head is pointed that way. So one thing you could do is just push it over to the side as much as you can. You want the distance from here to be relatively the same from the distance uh, on the other side of his head, not including the ear. It's more about this and this. But very simple change. And not a lot to do. Like this is a this is a great image. I mean, I'm splitting hairs. That, that was a stupid critique, but I mean, I'm grasping at straws because it's such a it's such a nice image. It's, it's beautiful. All right, how do you do the next one? This one's cool too, but can you simplify it? For example, my eyes being drawn right to the center here. Like, I almost want to darken down the top up here. Just so my eyes drawn even more. Again, doing this rough. But even more. I mean, that's a lot nicer. Okay. Granted, if you wanted all that stuff, cool. But I think you can always simplify an image. And then I can even do it again. Um, the shirt's not the important part of this. Sure, the shirt's cool. But, uh... It's all about the hands and squaring off the face. So, I mean, this doesn't necessarily have to be done, but I, I just like really simplifying an image. And then none of that was a little bit too far. Just bring it back a little bit. Um, you can also do the same thing. I'll bring the opacity right down to 30%. The, the whiteness of his hands is just a little heavy. I like that his face pops more than his hand. Sit around here. I mean, you're just figuring out how to draw the eye more to the center. When I go to the original, there's a lot of stuff that I can look at here. If I can just get rid of that, simplify, simplify, simplify. But damn, Justin, great images. Keep shooting. You're doing fantastic. Thank you for submitting and thank you for watching my videos. All right, Steven is next. Critiquing and reviewing images. See attached for your review on the 31st. 
So I'm gonna take these first two. See, these are nice images. Um, you gotta figure out how to get rid of this banding. Um, if you can go to my, one of my videos on how to export and how to export for clients, um, I tell you, I go through and walk how to save for web. I essentially push shift command option S and this is how you save for web. It'll prevent you getting these band, this banding. Keep it somewhere around 1500 and that banding will disappear. Banding is probably the, the one thing that'll kill you, especially if you're trying to get meetings with photo editors. Um, they see banding, they know you don't know how to handle a file correctly. I know that you're sending me a JPEG and email, but I've never sent a JPEG in an email that had banding. Another issue with this one is you really got to make sure that your background is nice and even. Um, this just isn't up to the standards of magazines. So if you can somehow figure out how to get the grain back off, again, go back and use your brush tool, your sample tool, lower opacity and do something like that before you put your grain on. That way you can have all of this and then you can, again, low opacity brush. And now you can go back and, and delete it off of her. So it's like a nice mask. But you can already see that looks better. You can already see once I get rid of this stuff, it looks tremendously better. All right, let's go back. Um, other than the background, I like what you've done with the shape. Um, you can see a bit of a masking line here. It's another no-no. Um, you know, Platon used to do this on purpose. Some people like how that looks. Uh, personally, even though I did call it out, I do like how it looks here. I feel like the shape could be a little better. Um, on her dress, not saying to make her thinner or anything. It's just, well, first thing I did was make her thinner. It's just that the lines can be better. Um, you want the lines to be nice and flattering, especially if there's no detail in the clothing and it's all shape. That's what you really want to pay attention to is making sure that shape is right. So, I mean, that's a big difference there and just that little clean line. Let's go into the skim. Love that you left all of this here. I love that you're keeping it natural. Um, the retouching is really nice. You could use a little bit more dodge and burn in these highlights just to bring it down on the chin and, and, and in here, a little bit on the nose. Um, another cool little trick with this inner, in, inner part or the part of the hair is you can either use the pucker tool um, just to shrink it and make it a little less minimal in the, again, that was a quick job. Another thing you can use, do is use the dodge and burn tool and just darken it in there a little bit. Um, other than that, it's a great image. I like her pose. Um, it's a little dark and messy in here. You can still use a little bit of dodge and burn. Let me show you real quick. Dodge and burn, soft light. Go back to O and just darken it in here a little bit more. Again, simplifying it. it doesn't have to be so messy all the time. You can just nice, where it's light, make it darker. And just make that shadow have a nicer, smoother gradient. That's really what it's all about. And even though it's not perfect right now, uh, that helped a lot. So even though I haven't made it perfect, I mean, it does make a big difference, especially when you zoom out. It just adds a little bit more smoothness to it. And you can finesse that all you want. Uh, and let me show you this thing about the dodge and burn up here. Just with the burn tool. It doesn't look like I'm doing much until I flip it on and off. You can see that it's made it much nicer uh, and not so distracting. Otherwise, it's a nice clean image. If we go to the second one, I see you're kind of starting to use the same pose here. Um, you don't want to get trapped in, in doing similar poses. Especially if you're sending work to a photo editor, they start seeing that you're using the same poses and whatnot. So even something like this is such a, is a much nicer, cleaner photo. Obviously I'm eating way into the, to what it is, but even this is much nicer. You can duplicate this and simplify it and put it right in the middle. That's a lot nicer. You want to fix this line. You just bring in your liquify tool with a big brush, just stretch it over simple but I mean that's an, a lot nicer this is this is kind of awkward to me I don't really like it the weird arm um, but you see that it's in, instantly simplified when you crop it and again I would really work on 
the crop and I'm sorry, really work on your vignette and trying to reduce banding. Um, the more higher bit rate your photo is, the, the, the less chance you have of banding, whether it's 16 bit or 8 bit. Um, but do save for web. Again, if you need to export, uh, check this video up here at the top right and I will walk you through. And I never had banding issues when I saved for web. All right, thank you so much, Steven. I hope those tips are helpful. If you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section. All right, next up is Eric Collix. Another great image here. Another JPEG photo for your subscriber critique photos. I mean, these are really cool. So we see that these are pretty much uncropped images. So um, again, you want to you want to use a crop. I promise you. And look how much better this looks with the crop like that. Get him centered. Maybe even lose a little bit. But amazing. I'm a big big fan of simplifying. Now you're not really seeing a boat on here except for this little rod, and you are seeing that he's on a boat, but. I mean, I think this is such a, it's such a, like an iconic looking photo, an iconic looking pose. I also think that you could probably simplify the background even a little bit more. So just stretch that out, put on your mask, delete it, and then come right in here and get rid of this like weird shoreline. If you look at any advertising, if this was used in an advertisement, they would immediately simplify this. And again, I'm doing it on the quick, just so I can show you guys. But like, it'd be something like this. Maybe even go a step further and, and liquefy the edges. So if I come in here, I just want to uh, make the lines a little cleaner because now that we've cropped in, the lines are very, you know, very apparent. So just, again, this is something that you can really massage on your own, but because we're seeing this now for the f uh, so close up and those lines and the silhouette is so, so important. I mean, I think that just, this makes all the difference in the world. And again, you can even make it, you can spend some time and make it much nicer. You can do something like this where you take the, the contrast and crank it and make it just a little darker. And then you just get a little bit of that detail gone. And it simplifies it even more. I mean, that's a, such a striking image. I think you've done a great job with the lighting, the skin, the concept, everything. I just think you could take it a step further and really simplify it. And then the same thing goes with this. Again, we want a nice square crop or four by five crop. And I'd love just a little bit more along the bottom. Uh, something I've said in a previous video. And then when you add your crop, you have a lot of space on the bottom. He's still nice and centered. We can uh, duplicate this background. We're not losing any information here. We can start from here because, I mean, that's where the po pole starts. You can do the same thing on this side. I mean, you could probably even do this. But this has such a conceptual uh, vibe to it. I'm going to go in now and uh, just fix this a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural. And then, I don't know what this is. I'm going to get it out of here. Again, I simplify lots of stuff. You didn't need that. Another thing you don't even need maybe is this background, this shoreline. I mean, you're doing this such a cool concept. It's so clean. Everything is so, you know, I'm going to use a big brush. Um, but what I was saying is the concept is there. It's so clean. Just take it a step further and really stylize this. So now I'm going to delete that. And uh, I'm just going to paint this in really quickly. I'm just trying to do it so it can be a rough sketch and then you can go on your way and, and do whatever you want. But like, I love that it's just kind of this Givenchy kind of fragrance ad that uh, 
You know, it just looks clean and polished. And I mean, I just think that's so much stronger than the distraction below you and 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 this weird stuff in the background. It just simplifies it down to the core. And now let's crop this, flatten it. We'll crop this one, flatten it, control C, and then bring this over. And now you have like this beautiful, you have this beautiful spread here now. And tell me that doesn't look like a fashion campaigner. That's right out of the page of a fashion magazine. That's beautiful. So I think where you were headed was great. Your concept was great. The lighting is fantastic. Um, I just think those small little steps to simplify it elevated it so much more. I would watch, I know these are velvet shoes, but I would watch losing complete detail in those blacks. Maybe clean up that mess a little bit. You could even clean this line up, get rid of this gunk in the bottom. I mean, if you want to really work on your advertising portfolio, I would spend a lot of time on this image to get the this right. Maybe brighten up his face um, just a little bit, like I said in my previous, just to make it glow. So now I'm taking the brush tool, low opacity, somewhere around 14, 15. But just get rid of this this stuff on the on the cables. Get rid of this stuff down here. Get rid of these specks. Get rid of the, the gunk in here to make it a nice, smooth line. And then you're dealing with advertising. Like, this is right up there with a polo ad, an ad for Chanel. So I think you've done a fantastic job. Just, you can always take it a step further. So thank you very much, Eric. I really appreciate you watching my videos and submitting. Last one to go. We got Randall Vargas. Sent in two photos. So your post and want to participate. You asked for one picture, but I have attached two. It seemed like that's what most people did. Thanks for submitting, Randall. Um, and thank you as always for watching. Now, one thing I love that you've done here is you've you've used this purple backdrop. I feel like you didn't shoot on a purple backdrop. You might have just changed the color and kept the hue. Beautiful. So I like this hue here, but I think you could also maybe make this one match just a little better. I see that he has his four by five crops. He's got a nice crop going. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can do this really quick. with the quick selection tool. See how well this works. Pretty good. So just real quick. I know Randall knows how to do this. Um, all I'm doing is adding a, a little bit of that color from the other image and bringing it in here just ever so slightly so I think that's really nice either that or just to make it merry because I know these are from the same beauty story for the from the same set one thing I would like from from one of these if this eye was open I think I think you've shown the makeup well enough that you don't need to have both eyes closed. I think connection with the viewer, connection with the subject is far more important. Um, so either simplifying that by showing the eye. I think this one, she's not kind of in her own world and this is nice, but uh, I think one of these should have their eye open. Granted, if you had five images or 10 images, I still think two, two eyes closed is too many. Um, since this is a beauty image, I don't mind this hair and stuff, but I do mind some of this uh, blotchiness in here. Um, the real tough thing about beauty images is that they have to be perfect. Uh, you have to spend a lot of time. Let me show you a quick example. We got Wade Hudson here, phenomenal beauty photographer. But if you look at any of these images, they are spotless. They have to be spotless. It's like you're under a microscope, like absolutely zero flaws. It just has to be flawless. It just has to be perfect. And if you look at any of these, they are just mint. So now when you're looking back at this one, now you can kind of see where the flaws are a little bit up in here, a little bit in here, some, some, some blotchiness up in here. You just have to almost, Take another layer. It's like peeling back layers of an onion. You're gonna just have to go at it again and again. Um, this single flyaway 
I don't think is helping anyone. There's a little bit of masking air over the edge here. And same within here. Just be careful with that. Eat back a little bit more. Uh, off the hair. Otherwise, and then the last thing is this. Um, is a bit of an issue. Just having a little bit. You either have to show all the teeth or none of the teeth. If you know what I mean. So, uh, here's one way to do it. Is just take this lip and bring it right down. And then bring it back by deleting it. Or you can actually paint in the bottom lip one more time. Make sure you're at 100%. Make sure your black is painted on. And then there's a nice quick way to, to close the mouth. Um, I think that makes a very big difference. And no one would ever know. But again, like, fantastic concept. Another thing that I don't think you need is... Um, if you throw the crop on, I just don't think this is relevant. I think either because it is a beauty story, maybe you take um, maybe you take some more flowers, c cut them out, and uh, and drop them over top of this, and then do it again, and drop it over top, or flip it over backwards, or change the size of it. Maybe make it weird and wonky. And then that way you can have the flowers kind of covering the bottom. Because I don't think you're gaining anything from seeing a bit of a hand and these weird lines. It is almost a distraction. My hand just wants to cover that. It's a lot cleaner when you do that, but the crop's weird. So I think if you just take some of these flowers, drop them over. This shoulder's fine. I like that. But here, drop it. And just try to get rid of this. You can see even though uh, that's weird. I mean, that's a lot cleaner of an image. Right? And even maybe if you do do that one. But that is a lot cleaner. Otherwise, it's great. I mean, I can see you've been watching my videos and I can see that your, your work is at a high level. The lighting's beautiful. Your concept is great. But beauty photography is very, very tough. It's a tough racket. And this is one of the greatest. And you can see that the skin retouching is just on a whole other level. Um, one thing I can tell you, Randall, is you are gonna get really, really good at retouching if you're gonna if you're planning on doing beauty. So stick with it. Really work on these. Um, honestly, just spend the amount of time you spent on these images. Do it again. Work on your lines. Work on cleaning it up. And I'll be happy to critique him again afterwards. Thank you so much, Randall, for always watching, always commenting, and being a uh, a real fan. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm done with my photo critiques for now. Next week, we have Emilio, David, and Ildi. Um, really enjoyed looking at your photos, and thank you so much for the trust to uh, let me critique your photos. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned that photography is constantly growing and learning something new, and that you can critique any photo, and that's the point. You can take any one of my crit photos and critique. I mean, it can never end. No image is perfect as long as you're learning something new and uh, you're willing to, to have constructive criticism. That's the most important. All right. Uh, hit like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and happy shooting. Cheers, guys.